Mr. Morris is attorney. Uh, since filed that motion, I ask the court to consider uh, that granting that motion. Judge, uh, it's at the point between in my relationship with Mr. Morris and that I just cannot reason with my client. I don't know that he's capable at this point of making a rational decision. Uh, I have been brought before this court by Mr. Morris on a number of cases accused of lying to him. Uh, when I've announced ready for trial, uh, I've been contradicted, which I consider to be uh, an assertion that I'm not competent. I have not proceeded as Mr. Morris has directed. Mr. Morris wants this case handled in a way that I tactically uh, and will, will not do. Um, I, I, I know that we are at a point where the, the attorney-client relationship is so strained that for me to go forward would effectively uh, bring this matter back should there be a conviction on 350. Uh, I think you're right about that. Mr. Morrison, do you wish to be heard? Please. Go ahead. Um, I didn't know about all this withdrawal stuff right until well, it was mentioned. Uh, excuse me, why do I interrupt me, Your Honor? But what I was saying is, I'd like to be able to be heard without interruption. It might make it a little quicker and a little easier. Uh, you asked me last week, um, why did I hire Dave DeLore? No, I didn't ask you that. I said you hired him. In other words, you, I didn't ask you why you hired him. I don't care why you hired him. You hired him. That's a fact. So go ahead, sir. Well, I hired Dave DeLore on his advertisement. He's aggressive. He's a, he's a trial attorney. He likes to go to trial. He's not afraid of going to trial. I, I can't see the words on this page today because they're so small. I, my diabetes makes it look like little blurry lines. But his advertisement says he's not afraid to go to trial. When, it, when I, I, when I talk, spoke with him initially, he said it was five grand to take it to, to mediation. He'd mediate me a nice, sweet deal. 10,000 tickets to court. I gave him $10,000 knowing I wanted to go to court. I wanted my day in court. I, I trusted David after he told, he told me no less than a hundred times. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I trusted David. Now, that's, that's his advertisement that, that enticed me and got me to give him $10,000. Just last year, David participated in a, a uh, news journal article that David says a client has his right to be to to please read this. He said he the a client has his right to face his accusers. He, he he's a fool if he doesn't. In some my summary, but that I'm a fool if I don't face my my accusers prior to making any kind of deal. I'm only asking David to do what he said is the right thing. These are his words. This this is his advertisement. David enticed me in here. I've spent over a year. David has over 40 years experience. I would be a fool to fire David. I would be a fool. I don't think I could find another attorney. David thinks we have disagreements. And he's, and he's right. I feel like David as a brother. I mean, I argue with my brother about facts and statistics and what have you. But David... This is why I hired David, because he said he's aggressive. He's a he says, don't go to trial, don't make a deal till you face your accuser. It's his word. And unfortunately, when I say, let's depose these witnesses, there's really only three focal witnesses that I want to depose. David doesn't want, you know, he acts like I'm crazy because I want to face my accuser before I make a, a decision that really, that decision, I know I'm an old man. And I know my life is short because of my med medical issues. I've got a pacemaker and a fibrillator. I've got all kinds of things that my pacemaker hasn't been looked at in over a year. It's supposed to be done every three months because of my VA. You know, the, the new Obamacare thing, it, it, it's such a big issue. I've been focusing on this case for two and a half years. I want it over. I want it over. But I think I would be making, I'm making a big mistake if I didn't, if Dave didn't do my depositions of at least the three focal witnesses in my case. And it probably I'm wrong. I love Dave. I think Dave is a great lawyer. 
And again, I would be a fool to fire him or to want him to be off the case. Last week, when I was in court, <coughs> there was a young lady ahead of me that you said to her attorney, he wanted to get off off her case. You said to her, his, her lawyer, you can't, it's the last minute, you cannot do it. This is, this is 11th hour, 59 minutes, 30 seconds. We're counting down. I'm supposed to be in trial today. I'm supposed to be, according to the calendar on the internet, I'm supposed to be in trial today, and my attorney tells me he, he filed a motion that he wants to quit. Your Honor, I don't know what to tell you other than I don't want to lose David. I trust David. I have really serious Sir, hard trust I get that. You, you're redeeming yourself now. He, he came in Wednesday, yes. and there was an offer made, which I mentioned, you know, it, it appears to be a very favorable offer. You, of course, do not have to take any offer, and you have the right to go to trial if you wish. My job is to consider a plea agreement and either accept it or reject it. That's my job. But uh, I can't, uh, in other words, M Mr. DeMore on Wednesday asked to withdraw. He's filed a written motion, which I've reviewed here. It's very brief. Uh, he's, he, you heard what he said. He said he can't represent you, and if he does, it's probably going to come back on what we call a 3850 motion. I don't know what that is. Well, it means that uh, uh, depending upon outcomes and so forth, that people claim their lawyer was ineffective. Well, if he doesn't do what he said, he should do what he said. Well, he tells me this is the right thing to do. Sir, he, he, he's not, he, he has made a tactical decision not to depose whoever those witnesses are. That's his professional decision. I, I can't make him do that. You can't make him do that. So he's not going to do that. You want him to do that. Uh, I'm going to let him withdraw from your case. Now, are you going to hire another lawyer or do you want the public defender? Your Honor, if you're going to let him hire, withdraw from the case, and that seems to be your decision, um, I think you should return the money that I paid him to do that. That's between you and, and Mr. DeMore. I, I can't get involved in a private contract now. How am I going to hire an attorney with his credentials so and, and no money? I don't know, sir. Uh, so you're expecting me to, to defend myself? No, I'm not. I, I, the first words out of my mouth are, do you want to be represented by the public defender? We went that route and we had a conflict and uh, Ms. Anthony, Represented you. You didn't like Miss Anthony. She got. I like Miss Anthony. You hired David DeMore. I like Miss Anthony. Well, you did. You came in here and said you didn't. That's not what I said. But that's how you what you heard. I mean, I mean not personally, but that she wasn't representing you uh, confidently in your review. So, I'm, I'm letting Mr. Uh, I'm granting Mr. Uh, DeMore's motion. So the next issue is. Uh, <coughs> If you wish to be represented by the public defender, you're going to have to fill out, uh, fill out another affidavit. Your Honor, might, might I make a statement on that? Sure. The reason the public defender shuffled me through several attorneys, two or three, maybe four attorneys, and then and I kept telling the public defender, the boss down there, I kept telling him, Your Honor, there's a conflict of interest. You can't, I can't be, be represented by it. He kept insisting that he could. Again, he shuffled, he shuffled me through three or four different lawyers. When he finally decided, yes, Mr. Morrison, you're right. I, we're, if there is a conflict of excuse me. There's no, a, you excuse me. If you wish the public defender, you have to fill out an application. If there's a conflict, they will they will file a motion to withdraw as they have before. I would appoint another attorney, a registry attorney, just like Ms. Anthony. That's how that works. That's how that works. So th th that's your option at this point. W would you like to do that? Send me to prison. Ask these guys to go out and take me out back and shoot me. Your Honor, you're giving me no option. You need to behave yourself. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I apologize for my behavior. I, I, I'm just... Hey, listen. I've been, I've been more than calm with you. I have another case to try this week. You know that's going to take all week. Uh, so I've, I've granted the uh, motion, uh, Mr. DeMore's motion. Your options are to hire another attorney if you wish. Or you can seek representation through the public defender's office, conflict counsel, and so forth. Those are the two options. I think the third option would be just take me out and shoot me because well, they're, they're, you leave me no option. You leave me no option, Your Honor. That, nothing that you just uh, said, sir, is an option. I, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and listen to you talk about 
taking somebody out and shooting you. That's ridiculous. You, you that's know ridiculous what you're just letting him go. No, that's why he's my car. When's his next court appearance, Mr. Clark? We'll set up for June 9th. June 9th. I'll see you back here June 9th. Between now and then, you need to make a decision on your representation. Thank you. Can I re re represent myself? If you want. But on June 9th, we'll go, we'll go through that. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Thanks, David. You're a gentleman. This is awfully nice of you. If that's what your your parents are going to know you as a twin. Person, you need to leave, or you'll be escorted out.